Somebody asked me about ayah number 65 of chapter 4. Chapter 4 is Surat An-Nisa and uh, 65 is a very famous ayah though. She says, which seems to approve marriage with a girl who hasn't minister waited yet. Actually, I don't know how to answer properly as I was always told that only minister waiting girls can marry. Thanks in advance if you can help me to answer this question. Um, let me just correct one thing here, which is ayah number 65 is a very famous ayah which speaks about uh, how to prove your iman. The ayah says, فَلَا وَرَبِّكَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ حَتَّى يُحَكِّمُوكَ فِيمَا شَجَرَ بَيْنَهُمْ ثُمَّ لَا يَجِدُوا فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ حَرَجًا مِمَّا قَضَيْتَ وَيُسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا Allah the Almighty says, He swears by Himself that, O oh Muhammad, your followers would not truly believe until they seek your judgment in any problem that arise or may arise between them, then they do not have any objection or any hurt feeling towards the judgment which is stemming from the Quran and the Sunnah. وَيُسَلِّمُ تَسْلِيمًا And they submit totally to the judgment of Allah and His Messenger wasallam. The ayah applies to the Prophet wasallam whenever he was alive then afterward, after his death, that we should seek the judgment of the Qur'an and the sound sunnah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu in every problem which may develop between partners, business partners, the couple, the husband and wife, uh, between any two parties, individuals or groups or tribes or nations. So if you truly believe in Allah, you should seek the judgment of Allah and his messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this regard this is the meaning of this ayah but you may be referring to another ayah with regards to the idda of the girls who did not experience their menses but this is not in surah uh, an-nisa and the ayah is talking about if a woman had been divorced and she does not experience the period whether due to the menopause or that because she have not reached the age of puberty yet so she does not experience the menses which indicates that a girl may be married before that it is possible because reaching the age of puberty doesn't have a fixed age we can say always 14 or 15 or younger or older in some countries the age of puberty achieved by boys earlier than girls, others by girls earlier than boys, and some countries much earlier than others. Uh, and you find cases where the girl is already 15 and she have not minister waited yet. Would that not give her the right to get married? Okay, let's look at the ayah. It's ayah number four of Surah Al-Talaq. وَاللَّائِي يَئِسْنَ مِنَ الْمَحِيضِ مِنْ نِسَائِكُمْ إِنْ اَرْتَبَتُمْ فَعِدَّتُهُنَّ ثَلَاثَةُ أَشْهُرٍ وَاللَّائِي لَمْ يَحِضْنُ So the idda whether for women who have reached menopause or women who did not experience the menses yet and they have been divorced which indicates that they happen to be married and eventually they got divorced. In, in some states in, in North America and it's easy to search this and find out that the marriage age is 16 and some states 14 with the consent of the parents. So it, it doesn't speak about the menses. It doesn't speak about uh, whether the girl have reached the age of puberty or not. What really matters whether the girl is grown up enough and understands what's going on or not. As we have addressed this repeatedly before and we said that the consent of the bride is essential in the validity of the marriage. Okay. 